the useful thing about using this uh, layer via copy thing is I can go into here and I can maybe dodge um, with this layer selected, this layer here, the one that's only got this text. And I'm not, I don't want to dodge highlights, I want to dodge like midtones maybe. And you can just see the text starting to come through. This is how photographers often make their watermarks on a picture. Um, and it's kept the image from behind, but it's just slightly affected um, where, where this was selected. So you can see this is now lighter than it was, and if I toggle off that top layer, um, my original image is underneath. Uh, the rest of the tools aren't we're not going to use very often. Uh, but the only one that I'd like to look at right now is underneath the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool selects a color, but it's mishmashed with a bunch of other fairly useful tools. If I click on the measure tool, and I'm going to delete this top layer so it's not in our way, I can click and drag a horizontal line. Um, and by horizontal line, I mean a line that's supposed to be horizontal. Let's say, um, now this picture is already correctly like aligned, it's already up and down, but let's say I wanted from here to here to be straight and to be horizontal, perfectly horizontal. I would drag a line with my ruler tool from over here, um, measure tool actually it's called, and I will um, click image, rotate canvas, arbitrary, and it's automatically filled in a value for me. It's telling me that this is three degrees down, and when I click OK, it rotates that to be perfectly horizontal. Um, once I've done this, I usually crop out my background color, hit OK, and now the picture would be theoretically straight up and down. Um, I'll do exactly the same thing uh, again, just to, to go backwards. So this is what I want to be horizontal. So I'll drag my measure tool, then go image, rotate canvas, arbitrary. It says it's about four degrees. Click OK. Rotates it straight back and forth. Grab my crop tool, and now I don't have enough to crop. But that's OK. Drag a box, and drag it in a little. Press Enter. Done.